the Informs Healthcare Conference is the one of the first big conferences I've been to. Uh, it's amazing to see all these people come together and share what they've been working on and talk to people about what they've worked, what they're working on, how it relates to what you know other people are working on, what potential collaborations there may be, you know what methods different hospitals are using. Is it something that's applicable to the project you're working on or someone's project that you know of? Um, and so it was interesting sitting in on the poster talks and being able to chime in there and help explain the collaboration between medical students and nursing students and engineers. And that's been something really interesting, I think, for people to hear about and to recognize that that's what we're doing at CHEPS and have it be a tangible thing. They come in and they're really surprised to hear uh, that, you know, I'm a nursing student and Brooke's a nursing graduate and, you know, Andrea's a med student. And they're surprised to hear how closely together we're working with everybody at CHEPS. It was interesting seeing the contrasting views of the actual healthcare professional and the engineer. I mean, we see this all the time when we're working at CHEPS and going to the hospital and just getting the different perspectives. But to see that at a much larger scale at the conference where you're not having a physician just at the hospital you're collaborating with, but a hospital maybe across the country. Well, I really enjoyed presenting <laughs> and talking about our project, which is improving the patient flow in a chemotherapy infusion center. And I just like talking to people that were doing similar um, work and we were just sharing ideas and what they've done so far and what we've done so far. So that was fun. Uh, we conduct year-long research projects and um, to be able to have the opportunity to come and present and showcase what we've done so far and actually um, show the progression uh, in terms of our work, that was a pretty, pretty uh, exciting opportunity to have that platform and not just to present but also to gain feedback in terms of where we should be looking to go. And a gentleman came up to me and said, oh, well, I actually worked on the premix project with the VA and uh, UNC, and I was curious, you know, how are you, what are you going to discuss, or how did you approach the problem, and things like that. So definitely a big networking opportunity to take advantage of. You know, everyone, you know, presents their work, and a lot of other places would say that's really great work, and, you know, pat on the back for you. And while that still happens here, I think that, you know, they always, they always take the extra say and say, this is good, but have you tried this? You know, what's the cost of doing this or what's the benefit or the downside of doing this? For me specifically, it has allowed me to, to really um, get an understanding of what else is currently going on. What other great works are, are going on in healthcare and in the space of healthcare engineering specifically? Um, and also see what ideas one could incorporate into their own um, project. Nashville has been great. Uh, actually, last night, a bunch of us from Chaps went out to the Bluebird, which is famous for up-and-coming artists. Yes, it's my first time here. It's been really fun just to walk around and see all these places where there's live music playing all the time. And I'm starting to like country music now. So, <laughs> so Nashville's, uh, you know what, I'm going to give it up to the country music people because I'm not a country music fan, but I think Nashville may have converted me. <laughs>